Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be going and doing a requested jewelry piece. Um, this is something for um, a friend of mine. She was just like, you know, if you just, if you make a, a choker, I would so buy it. And I'm like, okay. So we're going to see what we can do on that. Um, I have made one. But I'm going to make a couple more because I want to give this young lady, because um, it's a friend of mine, uh, it's a friend of mine, it's her daughter. So we're going to, we're going to give this little lady some options here. And I'm just kind of separating my pearls here with my, uh, my jump rings. Because I did a haul video just a minute ago. And for you guys, it was yesterday. But for me, it was just a few minutes ago. I had cleaned up just a little bit and got me a sip of my coffee. My coffee. And hit play. So anyway, so the request is to do blues and reds. Well, I don't really have a lot of reds. I have a ton of blue. But I don't have a lot of red. So that is on my next agenda is to get me some red. So I think with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some blue with some red. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but uh, it's going to basically be blue with a little bit of red in. So the other one is a very nice mixture of both. Um, and I think I want to figure out how this is done. So this is the new loop. I don't think I'm going to need quite that many. So I'm going to put the rest in here. Because those are going to be my accent blues. Got a microwave going off. Me, me, me. All right. So this one is um from the haul video that you guys saw yesterday this is from artbead.com and it is fire polished beads six millimeter capri blue luster uh the rest of them i have no idea because i don't keep records like that i just happen to still have this one in the package so you still get it in the package all right so we're gonna do Let's see. I don't think we need that. Let's zoom in for you guys. Um, bloop. I don't know how much further I can zoom in, though, to be honest with you. Because uh, it is zoomed in pretty far. There we go. All right. All right. So we're just going to keep picking these up. We're going to alternate between the pearls and the blue rondelles and hopefully not throw them all over the place because that would be bad. And I think I want to do maybe three. Let's see, what do I have? One, two, and this makes three. And we'll do a red one here. We could also do this color red. That would be pretty. I think, I think I might like that one better. 
we could also do both and we could do something like this. Oh, we're going to have to scoot you back over. That's the wrong direction. There we go. There we go. So what about that? I feel like it needs more of a contrast. Um... I think these blue pearls might be a little too light, actually. I do like the red-red combination, but I feel like these blue pearls might be a little too light. So, let's see what we've got over here. Um, let's get these put away before we make a mess. So this is actually a, I'm not really sure what it is, the, this mat here. It came from the antique mall and it came in a bundle of like five or 10 or something like that. And they used to come in bundles of upholstery fabric. This is not upholstery fabric. I don't know what it is, but it's not upholstery fabric. Anyway, um, ooh, I wonder about the light blue. Maybe the light blue would work. Let's see what you look like. Let's grab a couple of you and see if you work. All right, so we're gonna go back to, oh, we could also do that one. And I do get my beads from a various locations, so they are from all over the world, um, and that is really nice. Okay, I like that a lot better. And then we could even just do as simple as this, and then... Because I've had people ask me where I get my beads. I'm like, there is no one place that I get my beads. I get my beads from all over. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. Okay, I think we found the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Alright, so that one's done. That's there. This one, I actually only have two of those left. Um, these I think I got out of here. So I found these in, in a container of containers that was supposed to be empty. Uh, it was not. 
It was supposed to just be container of containers, but it was not a container of containers. It was really stiff. I don't think I need a big old huge bag for just the Moby beads. So a lot of people have asked me where I get my bags. I get my bags from clairebags.com. This particular bag is a 4x3, which is way too big. Um, yeah, this one's better. Uh, this particular bag is a 3x2. And I get the small bags like this for very specifically for my beads. Um, product bags, I normally use the self-closing bags. I don't typically use Ziploc bags. There are a couple items that I sell that are in zippy, in zippy bags, but not most of them are not. Okay. And that is it. Voila. But that's my red and my yellow. Um, that one is in with this one because my, I don't really have a lot of orange like this. I have like some bronze and golds, but that's really about it. I don't really have orange. I have a couple, couple things, but not really much. All right. So now that we have that figured out, the bulk of this is going to be this very pretty blue here. Okay. Excuse you. All right. Come out. Come out, you. All right. Which one do I need? This one. Followed by this one. Follow by another one of this one. And another one of this one. Then that little bitty one. And I'm not following a pattern per se. I'm going by what looks good. So if it looks good, then I use it. If it don't look good, then I don't use it and I change it to something else, which is kind of what happened earlier. Um, I tried it out with a combination of blues and reds. I didn't like them, so I changed the combination. I'm still using blues and reds. I'm just using different blues and different reds. And what I'm doing is I'm putting three pearls on and then I'm going to the rondelle. I believe this is a 10 millimeter rondelle. I believe I can look in about two seconds. All right, get back over there. So, uh, this is going to be an 8 by, or 7.6 by 9. Yeah, so 8 by 10. I was right. Whoop, whoop. All right, so we need another pearl. So... Do you guys like jewelry? Do you like wearing it? Do you like making it? Do you like just looking at it? And what do you think should be my next adventure? I actually thought blue and red was going to be, you know, like, ah, oh, cake. I got lots of colors. I don't have lots of red. <laughs> uh, I was very, very surprised by the lack of red in my inventory it was kind of crazy 
Um, I'm just going to have to go shopping. So I recently found this website called artbeads.com. Um, and so far I am really, really liking their product. They have a really nice product. Um, they have great colors. As far as I can tell, I really like the quality of bead as well. Uh, you can get various types, obviously. Uh, there's all kinds of types of beads there, not just glass. Which is kind of what I like about them. Because I do want to add other, other bead formats into my forte. Not just glass. So one thing I do notice about beating is you can get really lost in the moment. At least I think so. It's just, it's so relaxing. It's kind of like a glue book, really. I mean, you don't really have to think about it too much. Once you figure out what you're doing, you really don't have to think about it too much. Oh, I need more of these guys. I hope I have enough to finish the, the think thing. Because that would stink. Nah, I should be fine. Oh, yeah. That's so pretty. I really like this. This is really pretty. So this was a very nice request. Thank you very much, young lady. You are awesome sauce. And I am keeping her identity because, you know, she's not a minor, but she's a friend of mine's child. And I wouldn't want, you know, my child's information all out there in the world. Not that I don't love you guys and have every confidence in the world that y'all would respect your privacy and whatnot. I don't know. It's just a weird mama thing, I guess. The mama thing. But all you mamas out there know exactly what I'm talking about, too. And all you grandmamas. Or your daddies, you know. I'm sure there's there's daddies and granddaddies that are watching somewhere. They may not be quite as vocal as the mamas and the grandmamas. That's all right. That is all right. So anyway, I am very grateful for this particular request because I don't think I would have put, in, put this combination together before had it not been a request. And now I have two. And I'll show you the other one after this one's done. This one's not going to take too long. Because, I mean, like I said, once you get the pattern of what you're doing down, 
it's really quick. It's deciding what you're going to do and deciding what's going to work and what's not going to work. That's what takes the longest. I think. Anyway. Now, I'm sure that if you're threading, it's a little bit different because threading probably takes a lot longer. But still, it's to me, I feel like it would be the same concept, you know. Once you have what you're doing down, you don't really have to think about it anymore. You just kind of go with the flow. So that's something else I want to try. Is and I do have the stuff to do it. Um, but I want to try threading. I think it'll be fun. Mm. Might need two more. So my daughter started her college class today and it's the first time that she has taken online classes of any kind and it is her very first college class as well. So she's like, mom, I don't know what to do. It's like, just follow the directions just like you would anything else. All right. So I am wondering... I don't think I'm going to have enough to go all the way down again. Hmm. I am wondering if I shouldn't just stop it right there. Or I could make it off balance and do it like purposefully and end it right here at the end of this one instead of ending it at the pearls end it at the rondelle i think i would still want at least one more seed bead down here let's try that see what that looks like Oh, yeah, I think that would look good. I like that. Okay. So, let's hold that. Let's clean up our beads so we don't accidentally throw them all over the place. And we don't have very many left to clean up. And if you guys have a scoop, that helps a ton. A ton. So I have three left of the red rondelles. Not sure what I'm going to do with three of them, but we'll figure it out. We normally do. And then we're going to scoop our beads into a much more reasonably sized container. Now we're just going to dump these. I found the easiest way to go from one bag to the other, especially if one bag is bigger than the one you're going into, is dump them in your hand. Carefully. Carefully. 
And there you go. Voila. Aren't those pretty? Mm, 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 mm. I love those. All right, so that one's done. Ooh, coffee. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I love coffee. Okay, so this one's done as well. And there's not a whole lot of this one left, but I do like it oh so much, so I'm going to have to get me some more of this one. Okay. And this one, again, is Fire Polished Beads 6 millimeter Capri Blue Luster, and it's from artbead.com. No idea where those came from. Sorry. I'd uh, love to help you out, but I don't have a clue. So those are going to go in my blue bucket. That one's going to go in my blue bucket. Make sure it's closed. And then that one's going to go in my red bucket. And voila. All right, so move our spoon out the way. Now we need our tools. So cut our wire cutters that we don't need because this is memory wire. Do not cut memory wire with wire cutters. You will break them or you'll damage them and not be able to use them. And this is what I mean. Can you see that notch right there? This was before I realized what I was doing and I cut wire had no idea that it was memory wire but i cut wire with these things yeah that was no fun all right so i'm actually going to cut this down just a little bit because this is a little long and i'm going to leave enough on here that i can wrap the loop at least twice Oh, yeah. A nice, good wrap there. And I'm going to actually unwrap this just a slidge and cut it one more time because I am really bad at gauging how much wire I need. But way too much on there. I was going to wrap that like four times. All right, let's try this again. All right. There we go. That is pretty perfect. All right. Okay, and make sure that anything is not poking out. So this one took me a while to do on the first loop, but you're gonna take your pliers and kind of push ever so slightly and twist. And I'm gonna push that tail into the circle. Because no matter what I do, my wire cutters are not going to be able to get that completely down. There's nothing I can do about it. Because I can't use my wire cutters. I have to use the memory wire cutters, which are a lot larger and bulkier. So I'm not going to be able to get that wire down. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the very, very tippy tail and just kind of bend it into the circle. And straighten my circle back out. My outer circle. And then take my pliers. All these pliers have different names. And no, I don't know what they are. All right. There we go. Come here. All right, now we're just going to tuck that tail right on into that circle. There are much easier ways to do this. I'm sure I have yet to figure out what those easier ways are. So now, no matter what, I grab this and it's not going to stab me or poke me or anything. And it's wrapped with two loops, so it's, it's not going to come undone. All right. Now, you can add a charm to this if you really wanted to, but I'm not going to because of what this is supposed to be. 
a choker with getting caught in my hair because I have a lot of hair. So this is a memory wire. So it's going to wrap around and it's going to conform to your neck. No matter if you have a big neck or a little bitty neck. If you have a little bitty neck, well, guess what? You have a couple different bands of a choker. But even with me, like this is, it's loose, but it's also overlapping in the back. So if you have a much smaller neck, like my daughter, my daughter has a very small neck, then hers is going to be overlapping further. And so anyway, that's what this is supposed to be is a choker. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked this video. It was very fun for me. I very much enjoyed making this. It was a lot of fun and I love this necklace. <laughs> I might just keep it. Um, oh, and let me show you guys real quick. Um, what did I do with you? Did I throw you somewhere and then hide you? Um, so I was going to show you guys the other, oh, I set, the <laughs> so I have this cute little thing here and I set them on this. Uh, so anyway, uh, I've got this one here, which is another choker and it's the red and blue, but this one's a very good split between red and blue. And this is what this one looks like on, but on me. Because I have a much larger neck than, say, uh, a teenager or a young adult, um, it doesn't overlap in the back, but it's not going to go anywhere. I mean, if I go around doing cartwheels and roundoffs, yeah, it's going to go somewhere. But just sitting here, hanging out, chilling or whatever, it's not going anywhere. I like this a lot. Um, so that's the first one that I made. That's the second uh, choker that I made. And this is actually not a choker at all. I mean, I'm sure it could be, which is what actually started the whole conversation because I was like, oh, look, it could be a choker. And because it's also made with memory wire. And that's what it would be like if it was a choker. And this is what it would be like if it were a bracelet, which is what I intended it to be. So it would be a bracelet with dangles. So we've got dangles in the middle and then we've got dangles on either of the sides here. And it's just, it's one wrap, but it could also be a choker. So, and that's what started the whole conversation because I was on the phone with them. Well, I was on the phone with mom while, you know, I was making that. And that's when daughter was like, hey, if you make this, I'll buy it. And I was like, Challenge accepted. Let's figure out what we're doing. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun. And if you guys have oddball combinations that you think I should try out, shoot me a message uh, down in the comments below and I will do my best. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye guys.